Hello, lovelies, and good morning. It's morning here. Well, it was morning like three hours ago when I, let's see, I'm looking up at the clock. I got up at four with the dog barking, and um, then I just stayed up. So anyway, uh, I, I'm i literally just waking up. It's Pajama Chronicles. Even though I'm wearing my shirt from last night, I'm disgusting. I came home from, uh, I had a town meeting last night, so... You'd be proud of me. I uh, got up. I was the most vocal person there. Isn't that interesting and strange? But um, yeah, I um, spoke my piece and actually called uh, the company Snake Oil Salespeople and a few other things. But I did it in a nice way and then shook hands afterwards and chatted nicely. I know how to be a politician. You're bouncing around because you're, of course, on my bed on that little bouncy thing. And I just felt like I'm I'm just sitting here crocheting this morning because I don't know what else to do with myself. Finished all my chores. Dog's been out, in, out, cats, in, out, fed, watered, um, plants watered, and all the morning things that I do. And I uh, started to sit here and crochet. And I thought, I haven't done a PJ's Chronicles in a while. Anyway, don't forget your thumbs up. If for some chance you like what you see and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Um, and I can show you what I'm kind of working on. Got two things going. This pile right here is all of my pocketbooks. And I'm using the one I got from Mel at a little Lethalia's Little Hooks. Love this bag. This is has one of the items that I'm making, and I'll explain that in a hot sec. Then this, this Verna Bradshaw bag from Dory Did It. And my new goat tote from Bridget at Queen's Crafts by Bridget. And one of my silk bags that I use as a pocketbook. My regular over the shoulder, one of a kind prototype that I can never get again. And that's probably 20 years old, still in great condition. And then my very, my quilted bag I have here with my night light. So if the electricity goes out, I have that there. Wasn't that so uh, enlightening? And aren't you super thrilled that I shared that information? So what I'm working on, um, Rusty, Rusty Shop, I, I'm, I'm, I think I mentioned this before, but we're having a 420 extravaganza. And in which we will be offering mystery bags for the customers. So on my dining table is a massive amount. It's literally covered with bags that I'm filling with all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, so I'm making one of the things I make. And I've been making these for like. I don't even know, over 20 years probably. I, I have no chronological time concept, so just bear with me. When I ever give you dates or time periods, I could be completely way off. But I make these can koozies, which a lot of y'all make that stuff. But this is something that literally probably 20-something years ago I made. And it's got the strap for around the neck, so you can wear, wear it around your neck so your hand's free. And... I know people put their uh, phones or chapsticks or whatever in there as well. So I'm making a bunch of these. And also, since it's a smoke shop, people use the vapes and whatnot, which I also use. So I'm making the process right now of just single crocheting around like I do with the can koozies, but I make a flat bottom instead of a round bottom. And I make them smaller or I try to. Wow, that's not wanting to. It's always like when the camera's on, I can't crochet. I feel like I have 10 thumbs instead of fingers and thumbs. But um, yeah, this just goes around. It's a little pocket. You put your vape in there and you wear it around your neck. So I'm making that. And then also in May, mid-May, um, we're going to have our next auction for the mental health and meows. And I had just recently donated a lot of my shawls, most of my shawls and almost all my pride stuff. 
So, which I'm glad I did, but now I'm like, oh no, I have nothing to auction for the auction. So, um, I did just receive, if you've seen the unboxing from D's glory, she could pack, she packs a mean box at woman. I almost said something else. But anyway, the roll with the sparkle, this is gorgeous. It's saying colorway destiny. And with that, I'm just started this this morning. I probably should have color controlled right here, but I think when it's all done, you won't, won't be that noticed. Plus that's behind the back of your neck, but I'm crocheting a shawl. I'm not following a pattern or a tutorial or whatever. It's this part here. I just did double crochets to the start with. And then what I'm doing is I'm alternating. No, I did yeah double crochets. Um, half double, half double, double, treble. But I'm doing two on the top and chaining one. So you're that's where you're getting that little hole effect on the very top stitch. So it's two stitches, chain one, and then go to the next. And then in the center part, um, when I get to the last one, I'm... I'm going to, I also chain one and then in the corner or uh, tip, where are my words? Um, I do a double crochet, treble crochet, chain two, treble, double, chain one, and then go back to the next, whatever stitch I'm doing. Except for when I'm doing the treble crochet, I just do two trebles, chain two, two trebles. I don't go from a treble to the double. Does that make sense? Anyways, I, I, I'm figuring this out this morning while I'm uh, just sitting here. And I'm using my tank hook. Tank, I love this hook. I don't know, it's my it's my new go-to. Well, actually, I, I had the other hook that I got from Cindy at um, Life and Yarn Tangled. I haven't shouted her out in a while. I haven't, I haven't been watching a lot of you guys' videos because I'm, there's so much and I feel really bad because all of a sudden like somebody like Cindy will pop in my head like right now. I'm like, damn, darn, I haven't watched one of her videos in a, a long time because the thread, like what comes up are the ones that I do watch more frequently. So there's a lot of people that I'm, I'm missing. So I think what I might do, if you are watching this and you have a channel please remind me to go visit you, please. And, and, and you're not being weird by doing that. I'm ask, asking you as a favor because it, I'm just forgetting and there's so much and I'm, I have been overwhelmed. I overwhelm easily these days and I, I do want to support everybody. So again, like with Cindy, I love her and the reason her name came up and then I babbled on off into um, a side road, but she had given me a hook that was a six millimeter that I used all the time, but I leave my hooks in my whips. So it's in a whip and I got to finish the whips. I've been doing good with that. I've been really finishing the whips and I know I've been buying yarn. Not, not a lot. I, I do the mystery bags mostly, but I did just do a, a knit pick, knit picks and, um, and bear yarn. Cause I'm having a blast dyeing the yarn. I mean, the fact that I, I start it and I have like a concept in my head of what maybe what might transpire or, or whatever from it. And it's totally different than what, what I'm, I'm sorry, you're bouncing. Cause I'm like, if I move, if I breathe, the phone, the phone is bouncing around. Um, yeah. So I'm getting, I'm having a lot of fun with, with that, with just okay, let's, here's yarn. It's wet. It's dry. I'm using this. Let's do this color. Having a blast with that. And I will be doing more. I almost did one this morning, but I'm super overtired that I was, I, I don't like to be around hot items or glue guns when I'm really tired because I'm still healing from that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So anyway, where was I? I know I'm here on my bed and I have had my coffee. I'm on mug two already. And when I say mug, I don't mean just a regular coffee mug. I mean a, you know, 7-Eleven super gulp size. And yes, and I put Hershey's chocolate in my coffee. 
it is slamming. I don't have any creamer, so plus I don't have any milk, so I have to figure out how to get to the store. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, I, I don't, oh, back to the babbling PJ Chronicles, um, about the, the auction. If any of you guys would care to, um, donate anything to it, no pressure. If you would like to, um, please email me at mamagear at yahoo.com you know, before the auction, because we're not, we can't, during the auction, you can't be popping in there going, hey, I like to give this, I like to give that. And I know, I mean, appreciate that. But for any of you that do auctions or do the giveaways when you're doing it live, when somebody throws it in there in the chat, hey, I'd like to donate this or that, it, it, it sometimes can make things a little bit um, confusing and whatever. So it is much nicer and more easy to organize it if you know beforehand, and then you can show pictures and so forth and so on. So people could see it. But if you, if any of you all wanted to donate something, it's always appreciated, never expected. But, uh, I, you know, since I did donate most of my stuff, I'm like, ah, I'm planning on my, our May, we're going to do it four times a year. So the May one, I have nothing really, so I'm going to be scrounging around. <laughs> you guys might be getting some weird stuff. I mean, I'll definitely be throwing some yarn in there, but yeah, you might be getting some weird auction stuff because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, anyway, I'm almost 12 minutes in here and appreciate you guys for hanging in there. And I thought I was in the bathroom because you do that, especially a lot more frequently in the morning. And I have these on my wall and I... I know I've shown you guys, I don't even know how this is going to show up. I know I've shown you guys uh, a lot of my black cats, but this is just, these are, these I did for the man that lives here because he likes to fish, but these are just, this is, that's framed. This is just canvas and, um, these are just hanging in my bathroom. And I, I was in there. I was like, you know what? You guys think I only paint cats. No, I don't. I paint... Is that in there? I paint... This is a salmon. And salmon are the reason we're here. And I know I've mentioned that because we bought the house sight unseen over the internet. Um, won the house by a $1 bid. Oh, we were over by $1 on the bid. And... Um, yeah, didn't know a soul and came here because of the salmon fishing, which now with, with the arthritis, it's a little harder to, to do that fly fishing stuff, but whatever. And we got a little, a little boat from like, it's a 1971 Boston Whaler, which is old, but the man, he's been redoing it and fixing it and painting it and putting new stuff on. That's one of his toys, which is fine. But I guess that's all. I really didn't have much to say. I just thought I'd pop on here and I know I'm kind of, but I'm really super tired. But I, I am very proud of myself at the meeting last night. We've been, uh, not to get into it too much, but we've been, um, our town has, and this area have been inundated by the um, industrial wind turbine people. And yes, I'm a hippie. I am all about eco-friendly and it, for the last at least I'm uh, 10 years I've been doing research and um, fighting against these turbines being built around people um, they are not eco-friendly in my opinion and, and from the research that I've done and you you can agree or disagree that's that's what's so great about our country and I have no feelings either way, how you guys feel, but myself personally, um, 650 foot, that doesn't seem like much. That is tremendous. And they are just building these things around here, like in our backyards. And I don't even care what they look like. That has nothing. I mean, if they were truly 
eco-friendly, if they truly generated the electricity that they claim to generate, I'd be 100% on board, 100%. But they are, the way these snake oil salespeople, um, they're getting government subsidies, which means they're pushing it and they're outright lying and I can say that without fear of repercussion because I can prove that the words that these companies are saying, many of the things that they're saying, not all of it, but many of the things they're saying are lies, outright li bold lies. And they skirt around. I swear everybody that works in these companies shows up at these meetings with tap shoes on because they're dancing around the questions. And the only reason in, in 10 or 11 years that I've been fighting with these people through the state, um, the state attorney, uh, I forgot what her title is, but she's, she's up there. You know, it's not just little local yokel stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking state. I'm talking back when Cuomo was, was here in New York. Um, I won't even tell you what I <laughs> sent him, but, um, yeah, she, this is the first time that I had them somewhat address the issue of infrasound because they've just skirted around it. And the sound guy, the sound specialist was there. And I asked a two part question and he was starting his little tap shoes. And that judge, I wanted to go run over there and give her a big hug. She said, that's not, you know, she just got all up in his face and she said, that's not what she's asked. It's a simple question. Boom. She rephrased it, repeated it. He started sort of answering it and started dancing off again. And she right back in his spot. I'm telling you, this lady, I know she's not watching, but thank you. Because it shows that, you know, you got to watch out for salespeople. You know, and not, I mean, if you're in sales, it's fine. You're trying to sell a product. I don't hold it against any of the employees there. They have a job to do. They, they got to feed their families. I get it. But don't pee on me and tell me it's raining. I'm sorry. I will be in your face. And yeah, but whatever. I, I mean, I can go on to this topic. If you ever, you know, I mean, I really thought, oh, I'm driving around looking at all this, you know, wind turbines before I understood. I'm like, that's a cool concept. It just, the wind blows it, it spins around and it makes electricity. That's not what happens. I'm not going to tell you if you're interested or they're considering them in your area. Please do your research. Please look up infrasound. Please look up what they're doing. We had a eagle's nest here for a many, 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 many years. They're just starting the phase two, which is in our area, which is where this eagle's nest is. And strangely enough, the eagle's nest, the branch apparently broke and now it's gone. And I've got photos of how sturdy that eagle's nest was in that tree. And because the area where the eagle's nest was, they want to put a met tower or some kind of tower there, which they can't. Even though eagles are off the endangered species, they're on the... I am babbling like a lunatic. But anyway, they're saying, oh, it just... Nature, you know, snow. There was no snow. I filmed it one... I saw it one day. The next day it was gone. Walked up through the woods and could not find the nest. So, so now these two uh, eagles that have been living there for decades are are unhoused and i don't know anyway i love you guys i didn't mean to babble i might cut this all out because <laughs> you don't really care and i don't blame you but if you do have those turbines uh anywhere near you or they're they're proposing them please do your homework don't believe what people just say to you check it out for with anything research check it out for yourself don't don't be a sheep and just follow the crowd because the, you know, like my dad used to say, people see a line, they get in it. And in some respects, it is the truth. Hey, love you guys. Have a yarnalicious day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.